So after what has been a quarter of a century working in digital, not much surprises me anymore, with perhaps the exception of usability testing, because I'm always surprised at how wrong I am about what users will do on a website or an app. But apart from that, I've seen most things in some form or another over those years. Then, twice this week, I've been asked by two separate organisations about resolving conflicts between designers and content creators. I wasn't even aware that that was a thing. Sure, designers and developers sometimes clash, but designers and content creators? That's not something that I'd really come across before. Apparently, there's a debate about who should lead on projects. Should content be written to fit within a design or should the design accommodate the content? Is it just me or does that sound like absolute madness? It is, of course, a completely flawed question. The idea that either design or content or even development for that matter should in some way lead the creation process is ridiculous. Instead, the creative process is a collaboration involving all the different disciplines working together. Of course, that's very easy to say, but how do we put that in practice, in reality? And that's what I want to look at uh, today. I want to explore three different approaches from what is my ideal approach to these kinds of collaborative processes down to what I consider the bare minimum, depending on what you're able to implement within your organization. So let's begin with what I consider to be the best of the three options. You see, at the heart of most conflicts between roles lies departmental silos. So when content people, designers, developers or anyone else are not working side by side with each other, they lack perspective that the other people provide and so disagreements inevitably arise. Now, the best way of resolving this is to encourage collaboration. Um, and to do that, you want to physically sit people together and get them working on a project at the same time. Now, obviously, in the current climate, that can be challenging. However, there's no reason why people can't work collaboratively without being co-located together. We need to end the factory line mentality of passing work from one team to the next. Unfortunately, this kind of waterfall approach is so ingrained in some organisations that the next best option when it comes to the creative process for creating a website or an app or something like that is to have a UX lead set the vision up front. Now, at this point, I think it's important to differentiate between a user interface designer and a user experience expert because UI and UX are often used interchangeably, but they are actually very different disciplines. A user experience designer would have a much broader remit, a much broader skill set, a wider perspective than a user interface designer. Although their skills won't be as deep as a specialist in, say, content, UI design or development, they will have some experience in each of those areas and knowledge about what needs to be taken into account. And that means they're ideally placed to prototype initial versions of a website or app that consider both the design and the content together. They can and they should craft the initial experience that can then be further refined by the specialists in the different areas. And that ensures that neither design nor content nor development for that matter is overlooked and all get the consideration that they deserve. If you don't have a user experience designer and you're stuck with those departmental silos I talked about earlier, then you have to turn to my final option of the three that I want to talk about today. And if all else fails and I'm pushed to choose between content or design, I fall back on the principle that form should follow function. In other words, the content of a website or an application is more important than its design. The most attractive, usable website in the world is useless if it provides the wrong content or functionality. Now, that said, this doesn't mean that a content creator can ignore design considerations completely. And, and in particular, they can't ignore the medium in which they're creating content. 
A good website content creator will realize that users consume content differently online and that design is intrinsic to the process of uh, retain, retention and people being able to process the content that we present them. Although content is king, that doesn't mean the designer shouldn't be able to challenge and discuss how content should be implemented. Even as I sit here talking about this with you, it boggles my mind that people are having this debate. Is it not obvious that content and design need to work hand in hand to create a compelling experience? Do people really believe that one is more important than the other? What's it like at your organization? Do your content and design people work together or is content just poured into design templates? Is there conflict over the role of design and content? If so, I would really like to hear.